Versus. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Did you ever look at Sam Raimi and say, man, I wish there was a Japanese version of that? Well, there is, and his name is Ryuhei Kitamura. Both filmmakers started in low-budget horror, then worked their way up to hyper-frenetic action movies before being given the creative reins of a beloved franchise. Or two. Or three. Both have an over-the-top, gory sense of humor, and tend to reuse one particular B-movie star over and over again. Kitamura's debut feature, Versus, is the movie that Rolling Stone called a Japanese zombies vs. gangsters action horror comedy that plays like Quentin Tarantino remaking The Evil Dead while on a speed binge. And this film comes from a country that has really gotten in touch with its fetishes. Now, most screenwriters would give their characters some basic human personality traits for the actors to work with, but Kitamura was like, fuck it, let's not even give him names. I was approached by this guy. I don't give a damn about this guy. You know, those guys. Don't compare me to those guys. Our main character is Prisoner KSC2-303, played by Tak Sakaguchi. Let's go who has recently just escaped from captivity and is on the run with the other prisoner, whose name is... Other Prisoner. Wow, none of these guys have names? Look, I'll name them right now. Bob, Francis, Betsy, Mrs. Robinson, Jerry, Larry, Gary, Arthur Caligula Megatron. I mean, who can't identify with a character called Yakuza Leader with Butterfly Knife? Huh? What do you mean? For some reason, that never gets explained. Why were you in prison? KSC 2 303 has to rendezvous with some Yakuza dudes in the Forest of Resurrection. What is the Forest of Resurrection, you might ask? Well, the explanation is right here, and since no habla Japanese, I'll just take a wild guess and say it has something to do with zombies. Now, zombies come in all shapes and sizes, including the slow-moving zombie, the running zombie, the talking zombie, the sexy zombie, but since this is Japan, zombies do this. <laughs> I love this guy. Go get the girl. We then get introduced to this girl, played by Chieko Misaka, and what, is her character simply called the g oh. And Kitamura-san? No disrespect intended, but I'm guessing you didn't have a girlfriend when you wrote this character. Stay back. We'll talk later. Meanwhile, closing in are these two agents, one of whom used to belong to this hand, and the other who, I think, has had a stroke. Where do we start? Don't worry. Tracking people is what I do. I was raised in Yellowstone National Park in Canada. Oh, Canada. And 
is that the Cobra Assault Cannon from Robocop? Cobra Assault Cannon, state of the art, bang bang. Hey! It is. A gun that can kill Robocop is in this movie. Tak Sakaguchi had no prior acting experience, but was cast in the role after Kitamura discovered him in a real-life street fight. And as if that isn't the most badass thing you've ever heard of in your life, then allow me to introduce Hideo Sakaki as the film's terrifying villain known as The Man. You the man. No, you the man. No, you the man. No, you the man. And holy shit, is this dude scary. He's like the Kurgan from Highlander with the coldness of a T-1000. And on top of that, he's kind of a dick. Tell me what's going on. Just shut up and come with me. But none of these bad guys oozes crazy, like Yakuza leader with butterfly knife, played by Kenji Matsuda. I don't even know what kind of direction you would give to an actor that produces a performance like this. <laughs> Zombies or whatever they are, I won't let them get in my way. Don't you worry. You're gonna be my friend. And move over, Phantom Menace, because this fight choreography is incredible. Like, how do you even survive that? That seriously looked like it broke that dude's spine. There are skateboarding rednecks on YouTube with better safety regulations than this crew. But apparently that wasn't good enough to make Kitamura happy because in 2004 he decided to pull a George Lucas and created The Ultimate Versus, which has 10 minutes of new fight scenes directed by Takasakaguchi himself. Over 75% of this cut has been altered in some way, be it color correction, CGI blood, or new music. Personally, I recommend getting the original DVD released by Tokyo Shock and Media Blasters. I am such a fan of this film that at one point, I owned three imported DVDs of this fucker. So, go check out Versus as soon as you can. I'd better wrap this one up because I've already talked way more than I usually do and probably said fuck too many times. Hey everyone, Bad Panda here. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then why not subscribe for more obscure film school and other content? Feedback is always welcome, so feel free to like or comment below. See you next time!